Welcome back y'all. This is my EDC Las Vegas voiceover. This was one of the craziest trips I've ever taken. Like going to EDC alone is something I never thought I would do, let alone it being in Las Vegas where I've been one other time. It was just insane. I mean, we got to wear the craziest outfits. We got to hear our favorite groups. We got to be with a big group of people from around the world. Like seriously, the most unreal stage I've ever seen. It was like a rave on steroids, which I am all about. So yeah, the stages were just Oh, that feet drop. Ooh, ooh. I mean, like, people had all these giant flags from all around the world. The lights, the atmosphere, it was beautiful. Everybody was so kind to each other and helpful, and just everyone's trying to rave and vibe together. You kind of get it if you listen to EDM music, but, like, wow. This was the first night. It kind of starts at, like, 5 or 6 p.m. and goes until 5 or 6 a.m., which is ridiculous, but, I mean... We stayed up late the first night, the second nights we didn't really make it that long, but you know, we had crazy outfits. I mean, the setup of EDC is insane. It was at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway, and it pretty much just took up the entire stage. I mean, the entire speedway. It is so beautiful. That was our big group. That was most of us, and we just got to wear our cute outfits and go and listen to music. I had my little earplugs, so I didn't blow out my eardrums listening to crazy music for three nights straight. I mean, yeah, it was beautiful. There's going to be a lot of videos of music in here. I wonder if I can write over it so I don't get copyrighted, but yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and let it play. I had groups, uh, had friends from Cincinnati and Houston, and it was just really cool to see all of them in one place and have them meet and mingle and see all my favorite DJs. Yes, <laughs> just watching this back over. So many people, of course, one of the biggest music festivals in the world. It was funny because it sounds crazy, but I actually went to Australia like two days later and there were two dudes sitting next to me on the flight who had gone to EDC and they were going back to Sydney. They were going back to Australia. It was just wild. Me and one of my friends walk in to go into the arena. All the stages had different names. There were like six different stages. And then the fact that it was in Vegas, we could do other stuff in Vegas as well. Like we went to pool parties and stuff and just hung out with new friends. It was it's so exhausting. That was the bill from someone's table. It was not ours, but that's just the crazy prices in Vegas. I was so tired after the first night, like geez but i mean it was so worth it like i just really tried to push through i was nervous because i was going to australia like two days after and i really didn't want to be like dead exhausted but it was such a good time with my friends it was amazing Yeah, so then me and my friends again, um, our cute rave outfits again. The rave outfits are like half of the party. And there's me on this really nice guy's shoulders. He helped me get up and see the views again. Me just vibing. You know, all my favorite DJs were there. All my friends were there. It was great weather. I was tired, but I was having fun. Oh, this is uh, from my friend Jasmine's Snap, Snapchat videos, so that's why it's a little bit all over the place. But I was just dancing. I mean, I've developed my dance moves since then, but yeah. Oh, just watching these gives me goosebumps. That's an over, like, helicopter view of the speedway. I mean, it was insane. That was one of the best memories of my life. And I'm so thankful for the time I had at EDC. I'm not sure if I could do it again, honestly. It was really intense, but I'm so thankful that I at least tried it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next travel vlog.